through the whole lot then um, from start to finish and I'll do this in two tone this is two tone it's a brown reddish brown and a, and a green so whoop, okay the first one there so we go over then over down beside that one follow it around and go under I think you said you've had this this first part down pat so I'll just skip through this very quickly We've got under, over, under, over, over, and under. All right. You see that? Over that, over that, under that. Under, over, over again, under. There's a there's a certain there is a pattern to this. You've just got to learn it. <laughs> there we go. Over. And it takes patience. I can tell you, it takes a lot of patience. Over. Under. Over. Under. So we're going down the back side now. Let's tighten those up. And the tighter you can have this first one, the better it is because when you put your second knot in, that will even tighten it up more. So you want to make this, this first one as tight as you possibly can. So I've gone under and we go over. Now we're going under over, under so we come up the front part again over, over there we go, over, over under over, under I've got one more run to do because you can see you can see here these, strand, these strands here now this strand is going the same as that strand so the next time you come through I come through here I'll be going exactly the opposite so you what I mean here I've got under over over under you see we've got those two strands there that are the same going the same way this is going exactly the opposite it's sort of splitting the pair over under okay Then we're going over, under, over, under. I'll just tighten that up now. Over, under. Now that's the finish of the first knot. And that's called a six byte seven part Turk's head. It's a part it's a it's a six part knot here. Seven bytes in there. Uh, six bytes, sorry, seven parts. Right, now the next one, now we're going to interweave this next part, and that's the part that you're stumped on. Uh, now normally you'd just carry on with the one colour. But I'm going to make this a two-tone knot. So what I'll do 
is don't be confused by this just pretend that I'm not doing this if you're just doing the one colour at the same time having said that it might be easier for you to do two colours because then you can see where you're going I'm just going to tuck that up underneath there and I'll cut that off and leave that there now the other colour is a forest green Three foot should do it. These strands are fairly wide. Oh, what's this? That's five point eight two. The base for the knot was uh, from memory. That's got the strands on it, so it would be about 34, 33 to 34 millimetres diameter that way and in length I think it was about 32 it's a little bit longer than that now because of these strands here okay I'll just put a needle on this Now I want this green strand to come out where this one that I've tucked in was supposed to go. Right, this is where if I hadn't if I'm not doing two colours, this is where this would come out. So I'll start back here and tuck this in underneath here. Right, because that and that'll hold that end in there for me. I'll cut that off later on. Going under here. A bit closer. Now, where this strand's coming out now is where you would be um, coming out with the. Uh, original strand if it was just the one colour knot that you were doing, right? So now we're going to follow this one around. So we've got over, under, over, and under two. That's what I call under two, see under that cross bit there. Alright. Now we're following this other side around. Look. So we've got under, we've got over, under, and this time, no, this time we're still going under too. Take no notice of that there because that can, con can confuse you. Pretend that's not there. Yet anyway, <laughs> under two. You see that? Pull that through. And you can see that bit of a, a bit of a gap there. Just push that over. I mean, oh, just a bit hard here. Hang on. I want to make sure I get this in a good light for you. Yeah, just push that over. As long as that, that those strands there don't come off the, the end of your knot here, you're right. You see, so if it's a little bit wide there, you just push those strands up. And when you do that, it all works out in the end. So, we've gone under two there, right? Straighten that up, under two. 
over one, under one. It's a fairly simple knot, but you've got to sort of know what you're doing. Now, now comes the tricky part where you get stumped. Over one and under three. You see there? You've got the two cross pieces there and the green one you just put I just put in. That's the under three. Right? Now there is a definite sequence to this. And once you get the hang of this knot, this knot really is a key to a lot of other knots. So I've got under three, over one, under one. Now on a good day, if I'm not mucking about, I can tie this knot in six minutes flat. Right. Now we're going under three again. You see that? Under three. You notice I use that this fit here because now it's starting to get a little bit tight. Under three. Ignore that. Pretend that's not there. Over one, under one. Again. Let's bring that over. Just as you go. See? Make that all nice and snug. So you've gone over one, under one, over one, under three. Bring that down there so it's, there's no gap. Like I said, just adjust as you go. Now, over two, under one. little zigzags in the knots, in the knot. So that's under three, over two, under one. Fit in there and make a bit of, bit of a hole. Over one, under three. You see, most of the time I will do this knot this is not to confuse you. I'll cut that off now because it's getting in the way. I'll cut it off there so that next time I go over I'll cover that over completely and hold itself in. But not like, as I was saying, <coughs> normally instead of six bites I will go around eight times and make it eight bites. That makes a finer knot. Uh, I, I think it uh, it looks a bit better, but this is a, an, only going to be on, a, on an eight pack whip. So, you know, the, the course will not, doesn't matter. Now, we've gone under three, over two, under one, over one, and under three again. See that there? There we go. Now, over two, under two. Over one, and 
under three. Here, one, two, three. And I think you might be better off if you try this in two colours because then you can actually see what you're doing. There, we've gone <coughs> over two, under two, over one, let's not count that one there. Take him in down there. Over one and under three. Okay. How easy is this? I know, look, I, I know how frustrating these bloody things can be. People email me all the time saying they've got gaps and they've and all you've got to do is work your strands around. If the size of your strand is the correct size to the size of your your knot, you should be able to work your strands around so that they all fit. It all fits in the end. Under three, over two, under two. We're going to come up for our final run now. Under two, move that around a bit. Over two, and under three. That yep, over two and under three. And this is the last time we'll be going up this side. Now we've got over two, under two. Bring that around. Over two. Again. Under three. There, there, go under three, like so. Let's move these around a bit. These nice and neat and tidy. Over two, under two, over two, and this is the end of the knot, so we'll just tuck this up underneath there. You bugger. Just go around. Move all of these around so that everything's up nice and close. Pull that fairly tight, cut it off, tuck it in under there. That can't be seen. For some reason, some whip makers leave the ends of their bloody strands protruding. And I think it's the most untidy, bloody thing you can do. But anyway, I seem to think it's alright. This 
first bit here. I want to tuck it back up underneath the strands as well. Just tuck it back it up in underneath there. I shouldn't be doing it like this because These things, I've got a bad record with these things slipping and I've stabbed myself a few times <laughs> with these and I'd hate to stab myself in an artery. So I shouldn't really do it like that. Could have been a bit longer with that. Just get a pair of pliers. Tuck. Yeah. Yeah, so she's fairly tough, this kangaroo skin. Slice that off. Tuck it in under there. Then just keep moving your, your strands around until everything matches up. These strands could have been a little bit wider. I reckon they stretched a bit when I was making the knot. That's alright, that's that. Give it a roll. And there's your knot, there's your, there's your knot. So hopefully, oh, look at that little bugger there. Hopefully, I'll get an email from you and you'll be going whoopee. Or as we say in Australia, hooray shit. Talk to you later, Dan.